the ozone layer is finally healing slowly but steadily a panel consisting of the world meteorological organization un environment program nasa european commission and usdc recently said that the layer which protects us from the harmful ultraviolet rays of the sun will be fully repaired by 2066 the layer will take maximum time to repair over antarctica which has the deepest hole over the rest of the world it will be repaired by 2040 the panel credited 1989 montreal protocol for this positive development the depletion of the ozone layer was first noted by the scientists in the 1980s the layer which is made up of ozone or three particles of oxygen was being harmed by the use of a class of industrial chemicals containing chlorine bromine or fluorine the most prominent of these were chlorofluorocarbons or cfcs which were extensively used in air conditioners paints and refrigerators these chemicals led to thinning of the layer this in turn increased the chances of skin cancer and other ailments due to the uv rays of the sun the thinning was more prominent over the south pole understanding the gravity of the situation montreal protocol was adopted on september 16 1987 and implemented on january 1 1989 under the treaty all parties were given specific responsibilities that would lead to the phasing out of the different groups of ozone harming chemicals it included control of the trade of these chemicals annual reporting of data and national licensing systems currently 198 countries are the signatories of the treaty including india the panel said if it was not for the montreal protocol the world would have been warmer by 0.5 to 1 degree celsius by 2050 In 2016 the protocol was revised through the Kigali amendment and it sought to reduce the use of hydrofluorocarbons or HFCs by 80 to 90% by 2050. HFCs have replaced CFCs in industrial use. It is further expected to prevent global warming by 0.3 to 0.5 degrees Celsius. According to experts the success might be difficult to replicate in the case of greenhouse gases. The use of CFCs was limited to certain industries and quicker replacements like HFCs were available in the market. On the other hand, overall economic activity is deeply linked with fossil fuels and greenhouse gases. It would take much more to reduce GHG emissions than a treaty and it would require considerable lifestyle and behavioral changes. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.